Hey guys, how's it going? It's going to be fascinating to learn this. The information is both simple and thorough about water, booze, and sleep. It's all covered in today's audio, and I have a feeling that you'll find it interesting. Using headphones or earphones will maximize your enjoyment. Wishing you an awesome day. Enjoy and chill. How do you like the water that we drink? When you are in a state of unhappiness, doesn't matter how pure the water you drink is, you don't receive full benefit from it. So we would rather that you are joyfully connected, which means you are able to overlook the impurities in the water and still remain connected to source and drink impure water than that you have the purest water that you can fashion in your worry and pushing against impurities. So the more important question is, how do you like the water you drink? <laughs> Somehow I knew you were going to ask me that question. <laughs> Today I love the water that I drink. And, um... You see, the thing that we want so much for you to hear is because you're bordering on what we were playing with earlier. You're not bordering on it, you're jumping in it with both feet. What we were playing with earlier that most people say, pure water makes me feel good, impure water makes me feel bad. Therefore, I must purify the water in order to feel good. And we say, if you can find a way of tuning yourself into source energy, regardless of the water you're drinking. So let's, let's play this out. So let's say you're drinking impure water and you believe it's giving you detrimental effects. And out of that, you launch rockets of desire for purer water, for better resources, for taking better care of your planet for less pollution. So you're launching all of these rockets of desires and sources hearing them and providing all of that for you. But as you beat the drum of the impurity in the water, you don't have vibrational access to what you've been asking for. So then people will say, and it's very prevalent in a world of wanting to sell people things. Most people want to point out what's wrong with things in order to get you to, in other words, if I can convince you that there's something really wrong with this, then maybe you'll want that. In other words, all of this information about global warming and everyone is feeling impacted by it and everyone is wanting to move into some sort of action about it. And we want to say to you, you do not need to dig the hole for yourself by beating yourself over the head with what's wrong in order to give birth to what's right. In other words, you don't have to have a nervous breakdown before you come out into the light. You can explore the contrast, give birth to what you want and turn your undivided attention toward what you want and receive it. So you will never find us to be proponents about what's wrong with your planet. We will always be encouraging you to look wherever you're looking for the positive aspects. And when you find them in your alignment, as best as you can do from where you are, you will be guided to the resources that will fully answer every question, provide solutions to every problem, give clarity to every place that has been confused. No exception. I have no other question. Very good. Just two quick questions, actually. Um, the first one I forgot to ask you yesterday, what I really wanted to hit at with um, preservatives in our food and alcohol, uh, does that cut us off from our spirituality? No. It the only thing that cuts you off from your spirituality is holding yourself in a vibration that doesn't allow it. And you certainly have power to dominate the vibration of the carrot. Okay. <laughs> okay. Man against carrot. Okay. That's clear. And. What I'm, I'm hoping you could also uh, expound a little bit on, what are our ideal sleep patterns? Is there an ideal pattern for the organism that is best? Yes. And what would that be? <laughs> First, we want to explain to you the benefit of sleep. It isn't about resting, because you're resting even as here as you are sitting on these chairs. The benefit is, of sleep is that you withdraw your consciousness from this physical realm. And when you withdraw your consciousness, you withdraw any pushing against or resistance. And when there is no resistance, then your body is able to align to its higher vibration. 
and so slumber is more about aligning vibration than anything so it stands to reason that one who is more connected to the non-physical energy stream would require less sleep or would want less sleep but sometimes the opposite seems to occur because another thing that happens is the more you acclimate to the higher vibration the more you enjoy slumber which is a high vibration catch 22 and so <laughs> and so what we would encourage you to do the natural rhythm of your body is you see when you slumber and your consciousness withdraws even though your energies are being aligned your body is not receiving movement and your body really thrives with movement any of you who become sedentary and your society sort of does that to you as as you work eight hours or or but the, the your body really is a body of motion in other words you want your body is an organism that wants to move and so if we were standing in your physical shoes and we were wanting to guide ourselves to be most in harmony in terms of action with our non-physical knowing and intent these there are three things that we would do that most of you don't do we would drink enormous quantities of water so much water that in the beginning we would find ourselves uncomfortable because the elimination process would be a, a bit hindering but we really would we would drink lots and lots and lots of water your capacity to to hold more water will grow as you consume more water and and so the elimination process would not be so uncomfortable and the, every cell of your body which is mostly water would benefit because the energy transmission of your body is affected the more water you drink the, the more easily the energy flows and so there are lots of things that you could eat but the one thing that we really encourage is more water and and we mean water minus preservatives water minus caffeine water without sugars we mean water we really do we mean water mm -hmm. water with minerals water with all of the natural stuff that is in water we would drink water and we would find a source of it that is pure without too much dealing with in other words if you can find water that is water that's what we would drink water <laughs> the other thing that we would do is that we would move our bodies intentionally in other words we would find reasons to move and by moving we don't mean dramatic exercise we mean moving we mean motion we mean walking mostly moving the body moving the arms flexing the muscles stretching the muscles uh, uh, movement and the third thing that we would do is that we would rest when we are tired and we would awaken when we are refreshed in other words we would try to follow a more natural rhythm now that's hard to do under the work environment that many of you live but we we would we would sleep shorter snatches more frequently in other words we'd take a little nap on the lunch hour if we could and we'd snatch a little nap uh, after work if we could and we'd sleep a shorter expanse uh, in the middle of the night in other words we would we would not sleep longer than four hours at any stretch only because the body benefits so much by motion wow thank you that's what I needed to hear for most that's going to be a difficult acclimation because you've trained yourself to believe that you need eight hours of sleep Esther every now and again when because they're traveling and they have an early flight and and she's doing many things before she gets ready for the flight when she goes to bed she will say we only get to sleep three hours and she will say to Jerry something like sleep fast or this is going to be <laughs> or this is going to be a short night and what she really means is I'm not going to get enough sleep and then what she discovered and then often in that vibration she can't go to sleep even though she's only got three hours she sees the clock ticking away and she will say to Jerry I don't think I slept at all in other words I laid here for three hours but I'm not sure I even slept and so we encouraged her to begin rather than seeing this as a short night of deprivation to see it as a long afternoon nap a lazy long nap we have enjoyed this interaction immensely you are doing extremely well be easy about all of this relax lighten up laugh more play more get your cork up there floating and it is our promise to you that you will live happily ever after we have enjoyed this immensely there is great love here for you we are complete